So this is this is the deck mold for the Michelson 62 Nomad, hole number 26. Here's the hole already out of the mold. So, so cool. In what, probably a couple months, they're gonna put this deck on top of that hole in one month. One month. One month. One month. Awesome. See the anchor locker, all the non-skid. Looks great. It's like Disneyland in here. Okay. So we're standing in the pilot house of the Michelson Nomad right now. Yes. That's the, the deck mold for it right there. Here's what it looks like when it comes out. You can see that's the, the flybridge forward over there. So that will go and get lifted right on top of there. There's the hole mold for it. And then obviously cockpit back there. This will be your salon area, galley over here. And we're up in the pilot house, right? Yeah. This will be where the staircase goes down. Yeah. The forward part of the boat. Super cool. All right, guys. So this is something that you only ever see at the factory, but this is the, the wire run for everything. So PJ and Jonathan up in the pilot house and then coming down here, this will be the staircase right here. So starboard, this is gonna be uh, the guest head right here. So this will be your sink, your shower right here. Support, you're gonna have your bunk room right here, a couple of big portholes in it. Up forward, this will be your VIP, your master. This is your anchor locker right there. So that's where all the chain will go. And you'll have big closets on this side, obviously the bed right here. And then really cool where all these hatches are. You can see like this is where the great access is on these Michelson Nomads in here. It's pretty cool. This is all stuff that if you follow our YouTube channel, you've seen it before, but this is just what it looks like at the factory. And then now I'm in the, the master stateroom right here. So big king size bed in here. Walking over here, this will be your shower. You'll have a, a countertop and a sink right here. And then you'll have your toilet, your head over here. But just really, really cool. And then you can see where they've already, they put some through holes and they do a great job. So when they cut all this out, you can see, I'll kind of tell, um, but they cut it out and then they fiberglass all around it so that it's all sealed before they put the porthole in. Cool stuff. All right, I'll take you back. So right now I'm on top of the engine room. Um, so this will be the access. You can see where the shafts go through right there. And then check out how cool the exhaust run is. It goes all the way back. And you can see like where the uh, struts go, rudder posts, all that kind of stuff. And then let me hop down. So front half of this giant water tank, back half of it, giant fuel tank. And then if I go back a little bit further, let me figure out the best way to do this. As you walk back further, this is the integrated swim step right here. Integrated swim step right here where those uh, big uh, fish boxes go. So really cool stuff. And then you see all their, the different molds for everything that they make. And you can see this one split in half, so that's how they release it. So really, really cool. And then you can see them rolling and laying up some fiberglass stuff over there.
Almost missed him. So now here we are down in the engine room. Engines are already in. You can see they have it all laid up on the stringers. And then I love, they always put cardboard over everything to just protect it. So that'll be where the uh, raw water comes through to cool the engine on both sides. And then they have these big cutouts. So the shaft will go through here, through this little hole, and then couple right where that uh, piece of wood is coupled to it right now. Very cool stuff. Big exhaust. All the overhead sound shield, hot water heaters up on the other side, and then that's where the tool bench will go. All right, I think they'll understand where that was. All right, go ahead. I just, I wanted to explain that, you know, th these are the, the floor stringers for the pilot house floor. But if, even if you show them like the engine stringers, you know, over here, they're hollow for the most part. Sometimes we put some foam in them. But they don't, they don't get their strength from having anything inside of them. They get their strength from their shape. And if you follow this stringer, there's a few that don't because of the design, but most of these stringers run from the very aft part of the boat all the way forward. And they're extremely strong because of the shape of them. And you can see, like, these, these are completely hollow. Yeah, and there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Cool. Jonathan was just explaining to us that they build oh, yeah. the, the water tank and the fuel tank separate and then they fiberglass them together and then they gel coat the whole thing. Right. Yeah. We'll put a subtitle in, we're not even going to hear you.